Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem basing on the reflection of the light on a plane surface from a topic ray optics. Let me read out the problem first. The problem is like this. There are two blocks, each of mass m. You can see there are blocks, each one having a mass m. Lies on a smooth table. So the table that was is not kept on them is smooth. They are attached to two other masses. This is the other mass 2m and 3m with the help of the pulley and uh, these are the pulleys and the strings. So pulleys are smooth, frictionless. The sides A, B and C, D of the two blocks are made reflecting here. This is made a reflecting one. That means the sides ABs and CDs are going to behave like a plane mirrors. We need to calculate the relative acceleration of two images formed by these two reflecting surfaces. First, let us consider any one part. Say for example, this part. Try to find the acceleration of that system. As the two bodies are connected, they are going to have a same acceleration. How can I find the acceleration? First of all, I shall identify the forces acting on the bodies. This 2mg will be acting in a downward direction, which creates a tension in the string. Being the pulley is smooth, this tension is also the same. That means this block will be moving towards the right and this block will be moving down both with an acceleration a1 i need to calculate that acceleration that means i shall draw free body diagram for each of them so for this cd mass the tension is the only force acting so the force acting on that m a1 is nothing but equal to tension the other force is 2m the force is acting on that is 2mg in downward direction tension in upward direction this is moving down with an acceleration a so f resultant is as f resultant is downward force the downward force will be treated like positive minus tension because tension is acting in the upward motion that f resultant is 2m into a because that mass is 2m equal to 2mg minus t but we have already proved t as something like m a 1 so simplifying this getting that m a 1 this side 2m 1 2m a 1 and m a 1 3m a 1 equal to 2mg m's can be cancelled so we are able to find a1 as 2g by 3 that is the acceleration acquired by the mirror now the object is kept constant here is the object but the image is but the mirror is because cd is a mirror cd has an acceleration of 2g by 3 so the image formed by this cd will have an acceleration double to that of the acceleration of the mirror because of the relative acceleration because the image is moving so I can say the image formed by CD has an acceleration equal to two times the acceleration of the mirror. If the mirror is having an acceleration A, its image will be 2A. So 2 into 2G by 3. That's nothing but equal to 4g by 3. That is with respect to the first mirror. 
CD mirror, right side mirror. I can repeat the same for the left side mirror also. See this mirror, this is what we mean by left side. Let us see the forces acting. 3 mg in downward direction, which creates some another tension, say for example T dash. Being the pulley is smooth, the same T dash will act here. So this will be coming down with an acceleration A2. This will be coming towards the left with the same acceleration A2 because they are nothing but a system having a common acceleration. Then drawing a free body diagram for the say AB part. This is the only tension, it's nothing but the force. So the F is nothing but equal to M A2. That's nothing but equal to T dash. Similar writing for this 3M body. 3MG is downward. T dash is upward. This is coming down with an acceleration A2. So I can write the F resultant on that 3MG is 3MG minus T dash. F resultant is 3m into A because its mass is 3m equal to 3mg. The place of T dash I can write m a2. So 4m a2 equal to 3mg cancelling this m and m a2 equal to 3g by 4. So, what is understandable is that implies what we have proved is the other mirror AB has an acceleration of 3g by 4. When the mirror is having that much of acceleration, the image of that mirror, the other image, the second image of the mirror will have an acceleration double to that of acceleration, 2 into 3g by 4. Whenever mirror has certain acceleration, its image will have double the acceleration in the case of a plane mirror. That is 6g by 4. Now, we have two images. Image 1 is having this much of acceleration. Image 2 is having this much of acceleration. As the two mirrors are moving in opposite direction, the corresponding images also will be moving in a opposite direction. So I want to calculate the relative acceleration. Between the two images being there in the opposite direction a1 minus minus a2 that's nothing but equal to a1 plus a2 a1 is 4g by 3 a2 is 6g by 4 as we have proved so its LCM is 12 this is 16g this is 18g that is 34g by 12 that is 17g by 6 so the relative acceleration of the two images is nothing but equal to 17g divided by 6 thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons this will be a resource for all your IIT JE and NET requirement. Thank you.